Good evening. 16th of June. Many may have already marked this date on their calendar. The day India and Pakistan are supposed to lock horns on the cricket pitch. But tonight, the big question is, should we play with Pakistan or not? To boycott Pakistan or not? Should we say we refuse to acknowledge anything which is linked to Pakistan until our neighbour mends its ways and cracks down on terror which is growing on its soil? Or should we use this opportunity to at least beat them and embarrass them at the World Cup on the cricket pitch? Will Pakistan really change if we don't play cricket with them? Are we insulting our soldiers and their families, their sacrifice, if we go ahead and play cricket with Pakistan right now, even when the families of those 40 martyrs haven't stopped grieving, they are still in mourning? Should we then cut off all ties with Pakistan, arts, music, trade, all sports, diplomatic ties? Remember this, over 400 soldiers have been martyred since 2014 in Kashmir. Can we ignore that Pakistan is every day training, funding and sending terrorists to destabilize our country? Maybe, just maybe, someday, the two countries, the two neighbours will learn to live in peace and harmony. But until our neighbours see that, do we really have to play with them? even if it means not playing the World Cup. BCCI and broadcasters losing money and perhaps India not being able to host the next World Cup. Is that more important? Tonight, as a nation, let's debate this. Should India play cricket with Pakistan this World Cup season? Let's agree to Alan Sippy, former cricketer, Dalip Tahir, actor, Anshu Moore, comic, will be with us shortly. Sunita Godara, former Asian Marathon champion. And we've got Viratiwari, our consulting editor in our Mumbai studios. Uh, Vinay, I'm going to start with you first. Let's just try and understand what are India's options right now. At this stage, when we have on a trade front taken a step back, we are re-looking at our water sharing you know, treaties and how we can use our own water better. We are uh, getting in touch with diplomats and for, you know, other nations, bureau, bureau, diplomatically speaking, trying to isolate Pakistan. When it comes to cricket and the World Cup, what are our options? Well, three options, Tanvi, pretty much. One is that we go ahead and play the ICC World Cup uh, because we're scheduled to do that. Uh, and we are a signatory to the agreements that you have with different boards have agreements with ICC. Two, you actually go to the World Cup, but you forfeit your match against Pakistan, which means that you'll, you're, first you'll be docked your points. Two, in a round-robin format, it'll put you on a back foot. You might actually hand over an advantage to Pakistan because they'll start with a plus two point advantage. And three, you and, and 2A in many ways is that you then you run the risk of wondering whether you may end up meeting Pakistan again in the knockout stage and then you'll have to forfeit another match in case because once you've forfeited one, you'll have to forfeit the other. And the third option on paper again is that India just simply boycotts the World Cup itself. Now, in both the number two and number three options, you pretty much can be certain that you'll invite sanctions, you'll invite a bit of an isolation in the, at the global sporting stage. Uh, and you will definitely run the risk of actually losing the right to horse in the next World Cup, which is supposed to happen here for sure, because that's what the Olympic Charter, which the ICC uses to draw its charter from, uh, will be invoked. Uh, we've seen the, something similar happening with the shooting championships today in the World Cup, where we did not give visas to two shooters. Uh, and that's what can happen on paper, uh, Tanvi, pretty much. Okay, so uh, these are the consequences. Uh, in fact, to that one point that you made, uh, uh, Vinay, that we will end up forfeiting uh, are two points because we are slated to uh, play with uh, Pakistan and if we boycott that and that effectively may give them an edge over us, we will uh, in indirect ways end up perhaps helping them reach the semi-finals. That's a point that even Sachin Tendulkar made uh, earlier today while he said that for me country comes first and whatever the government decides I'm all right with it but he did say that perhaps it will be a lot more satisfying if we are actually able to beat them rather than giving them those two points. But on a larger concept, Alan Sipi, where do you stand on this debate? Should we play with them? Should we not play with them? You see, uh, Tanvi, I'm, on, I'm in, in the country is in complete unison. When it comes to uh, what has happened, the terror attack, the, the country knows for a fact that 
the army, the people have been hurt and, and people have died. So as far as the country is concerned, we are in complete unison that some action or something should be, should be taken place. Now, if, if you look at Sachin Tendulkar's uh, tweet, now he's, he's talking as a sportsman. So there are two sides to this. As a sportsman, he's, he's feeling, and he's rightly in, in that, in that uh, fashion, he's rightly feeling that as a sportsman, he feels that India is in a better position today or like it was in the past, to beat them. So he's thinking on the sports front. And uh, on the other hand, if you look at the, the people who have lost their, their lives, the families who have lost the, the sons, the soldiers, they must be hurting as well because they are thinking that we are sitting here and talking about uh, having a debate that whether India should play or not. So their feelings will be completely different to what we're talking about playing Pakistan, because it's a very sensitive issue. The entire country, right now, the emotions are running extremely high. Everybody is wondering that, uh, I mean, majority of the people feel that we should not play Pakistan. Mm -hmm. But the one thing is for certain, the entire country knows that the, the Pakistan has uh, committed a crime. They, ha they, they continue to harbor terrorism, and they do not chastise, they do not pinpoint exactly where, Example, Imran Khan the other day has said, he says that, uh, please give us proof. Now, the entire world knows that Pakistan harbors terrorism. So for him to say a past statement like that, it clearly shows that he's not in complete command. He's a puppet on the string, and he's been controlled by the army of Pakistan. Correct. So for me, I think uh, we should leave it to the government, because the government is in the right uh, state right now to decide whether we should play cricket or not. The government is the one who should take a decision, because they are trying to protect us. Okay, so Alan Sipi says uh, we should leave it to the government to decide. Dalit Tahil, where do you stand on this debate? Uh, many from your film fraternity have taken, um, you know, very um, clear stands to say we will not release our films here, we will not work with Pakistani actors or Pakistani singers. Uh, and, and so a similar debate is also always going on within Bollywood as well. Do you think we should play cricket with them or should we cut off all ties, music, movies, sports, everything? Well, first of all, a very good evening to you. And let me say at the outset that I unequivocally condemn the cold-blooded murder <coughs> of our Jawans in Pulwama. And I think post-Pulwama, India should definitely begin to revisit and re-understand its association with Pakistan, whether it be trade, whether it be sport or culture. Having said that, the World Cup in this situation is a bit different. And the reason for that is that the Re World Cup is already planned. Pakistan will come and play the World Cup because the ICC is not going to drop them at this stage. Let me tell you that in World Cup language, if a team does not show up to play, it is a walkover. We, are, we should be doing Pakistan no favors. If we do not go to play, we are handing over two valuable World Cup points in Pakistan's hand. They will have the last laugh. Cricket and limited overs cricket is a very uncertain territory. What happens with those two points and, what ha and how the tournament actually finishes is anybody's guess. I am saying that India does not benefit in not playing Pakistan. I think we should play Pakistan, keep our head held high as we always do, get onto the field as professional cricketers and send the Pakis packing from the World Cup. And the other thing is, we don't play the World Cup, we are giving ammunition to the, to the PR machinery in Pakistan to say that we were scared. Also, on the world stage of sport, they will say that you have interfered, you have mixed politics with sport, mm. and that will have its own ramifications. So I think not playing Pakistan does not benefit India at all. Right. I would much rather see India go out there and play and defeat Pakistan. Well, uh, you know, to, to the point, the very limited point that you made about uh, people saying that we are mixing politics uh, and sports, let's also not forget that often Pakistani players themselves have used this platform to make political statements, maybe to, appear, uh, to please their own, uh, you know, government or army, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, ISI. I remember very distinctly in 2016 when Shahid Afridi uh, was asked and he made it very clear that uh, uh, they have won this T20 match because of all the support from Kashmir. 
uh, and he's repeatedly done that. So, I mean, if it is about politics and sports, it often gets mixed and both sides uh, end up doing it in their own ways. But let me go across to uh, our other panelists. Uh, uh, Sunita Godara, as a, as a sportswoman, what's your view when there is at one point terror and in many ways a proxy war or, 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 or a constant state of conflict with the country, should we be playing cricket? And to the point that, uh, you know, Dalita Hill raised, that you can forfeit your points once, what happens next? What happens when we reach semi-finals and Pakistan is there again? Will we not play the semi-finals? See, first of all, I, I would like, as a player, I would like to say that uh, uh, this sports forum is not uh, not the right forum to fight Pakistan. First of all, uh, government has to think. Uh, you know, we have to hit them and take them on where they are weak. Finances, business, and like uh, now, government is taking action on water. That is perfectly all right because government has to put pressure on IOC. It's not only cricket. We have Commonwealth Games. We have Asian Games. We have uh, Olympics. We have international tournament in hockey, football, golf. Everywhere we have to boycott them. Why only cricket? So as a sports person, what we learn, sportsman spirit, fighting spirit, beat the opponent. That's what we learn and that's what we do. So the right forum should be put pressure on IOC and ban Pakistan from all these sports. Yeah. Can we do that? Is it possible? <laughs> So we have to think. First of all, we have to strengthen the army. The government has to think about army facilities, ammunition, give them all rights, whatever they deserve. Because I'm also army officer's wife. My brother is in uh, uh, Indo Tibet Pol uh, Police. So I know what they are going through. So first, strengthen your army. And if you really want to boycott, then put pressure on IC, put pressure on international sports bodies. Right. Boycott Pakistan. Yes, because you know, while, uh, uh, and I that agree with you, and perhaps, on, on perhaps that's what uh, COA uh, decided to do today, and by sending that letter and then releasing that letter uh, to the ICC, where they have said uh, that, you know, nations who harbor and encourage terror must, we must severe our ties with them for future tournaments, not for this tournament, but for future tournaments. The other thing that they said is there are security concerns for our play players to come and, and, and play in this World Cup. So perhaps those uh, mild attempts are being made to get Pakistan out of these tournaments, but it, it, it's a long way to go. What have we done when it comes to the Olympics, the shooting World Cup that's happening uh, in our country right now? We refuse to give visas to two Pakistani shooters, the uh, 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 Olympics committee turned around and said, well, you can't hold any more world events in your country because you are banning people from different countries and you're not allowing them to come and participate. So that's the repercussion that we are looking at right now. Now, Anshu Mor, do you agree that uh, what uh, the government has to do, deal with Pakistan on a military basis, on a diplomatic basis, should not be mixed with sports? No, actually, uh, uh, no, I, I, have, I have a slightly different view. First of all, uh, I don't subscribe to this whole idea that, you know, we should uh, play them and then beat them, uh, you know, at the World Cup and that will be some kind of a, you know, moral victory or whatever. Uh, because, you know, if, if you go by that logic, then we might as well go to a Pakistan and beat them in their own country because we will beat them. You know, that's the fact. We are a much better side. Uh, so I don't really subscribe to that. Having said that, I also recognize that it's a very tricky issue right now for everybody involved, right? For BCCI, for the government, because cricket is also a very emotional piece. And then what has happened with these terrorist uh, attacks is also deeply, deeply emotional for the country, right? So just to create that balance, I can understand that there's a lot of confusion right now. My personal stand on this is, yes, we should not play Pakistan because unlike in any other sport, this is a very big event. This is a global event. India is a very, very strong participant in this. Mm. And if we are able to then put a stop to playing against Pakistan, then we are making a huge statement at a global stage uh, about terrorism in Pakistan. I said it earlier in your show also, uh, that apart from just not playing Pakistan, I, I think we should, because BCCI is very strong enough, also put a lot of pressure to have Pakistan out of the World Cup with support, hopefully, from the other countries who will, I'm assuming, 
you know, uh, support uh, uh, initiative against a terrorist state. Okay. So, uh, you know, this is, we shouldn't forget what has happened. Yes. Uh, I love cricket. I love watching India-Pakistan matches. I love all of that. But really, it's about time that we took a stand. Uh, and that stand has to take, you know, you have to take that stand everywhere. It's sports, okay. it's trade. Fair it's, enough. Uh, I, you know, I get your sentiment. Talks, it's the international level. We really need to take a stand. Fair enough. I get your sentiment and, and that's la largely also the sentiment of many people who are calling us. Uh, all evening we've had our phone lines open and most people are reflecting the, uh, the sentiment uh, that you just presented, aren't you? But let's, let's look, look, break it down practically uh, and Vinay, if you could come in here. Uh, uh, how, how practical or uh, to what extent is it possible that we are able to get the other countries to boycott Pakistan at this stage? After all, we are also talking about a multi crore multilateral event. Will the other countries back us on this? If you ask me today, no, they won't. Uh, the Indian clout over the ICC has significantly declined in the last seven to eight years. When Mr. Srinivasan was actually in the BCCI, India had a way bigger and way better clout uh, within the ICC. Now we don't enjoy that clout. In the last two major AGMs that have happened in the last six months or eight months or so, we've lost votes very badly. In fact, we lost the last one 13 is to 1, which was about the finances that the ICC has to share with India. India's share of money was reduced by the ICC. It's an unthinkable thing. Two years ago, they wouldn't have had the courage to do it. The Indian position in the ICC has weakened. Having said that, it is true that India still remains the fulcrum around which the finances, the global finances of the cricket world moves. There is no doubt about that. I mean, the fact that the ECB itself, which is organizing the World Cup, is banking heavily on, on, on India and the India-Pakistan match itself. I mean, that was the first match that got sold out long back. And the whole economy of that country almost survives on the Indian diaspora, which throngs every single match when India visits them. So, in fact, if you see the ECB finances, only when an Indian team is visiting the, the UK subcontinent, uh, the continent, uh, do they actually shore up their revenues. Then the rest of the series, bilateral series, they don't get as much money, including even the ashes. So, look, there is no doubt that India has financial muscle, even though it's slightly reduced. But having said that, my whole confusion is about three things, Tanvi. Number one, why would you want to boycott a team? The obvious answer is you want to isolate a country that is an enemy country and that has actually come inside your country and, and, and actually killed your citizens and your soldiers. The idea is to punish them. If the idea is to punish them, the question, next question should be, will this punish them really? I have two parallel examples in the past which are references for us. India was fighting Kargil war in the May of 1999. We played Pakistan on 6th of June, 15 days after a war which killed 500 of our soldiers. In 2008, India, Mumbai was attacked by Pakistan. We played the 2011 World Cup as well. What actually hurts Pakistan more is the cessation of all bilateral ties which have already happened. Remember, we, don't, we haven't played a series with Pakistan for 12 years now. We do not allow any Pakistani cricketers to be part of the IPL. We have even banned somebody like a Ramiz Raja to comment during the match. Even Star Sport doesn't hire them. That has killed Pakistani cricket way more than you staying away from a multilateral tournament. That's the way to punish Pakistan. Multilaterals are not going to punish Pakistan at all, uh, Tanvi. Okay. Uh, so that's the other side of it. Sunita Godara, let me, uh, let me also turn the question around to you and ask you, why should we play with Pakistan? Why is it so important to have that, uh, to play that one match or even to play in this tournament? Why should we do that? At a time when, you know, the sentiment within nation is, uh, uh, is so angry, uh, uh, we've lost 40 soldiers, we've lost 400 soldiers in the past five years. Why should we play with Pakistan? See, first of all, I want to say that country has to take decision. If they want to, they should uh, boycott or they should give policy, uh, such policy, so that India is not going to play World Cup, first of all. And then government has to decide that what will happen for other tournaments, all international. It's not only this World Cup, other tournaments, big tournaments I'm talking about. Everywhere, wherever Pakistan is coming, then we should boycott. So if you want to uh, send message, take the decision fast, make some policies so that that message goes to the world that we are now, we cannot take any more, uh, all, uh, whatever Pakistan is doing, it's not acceptable to us. Right. So boycott, but just uh, doing debates and just, just thinking that BCCI will take the decision. BCCI will not take this decision on their own. 
either ICC has to take decision or government has to take decision or they have to order. Okay. The other thing before Otherwise, I move to, uh, nothing will happen. Only before I ask this happen. question, so also to Dalip Tahir. As, as a sports person, okay, my views are. Yes, so no, I had another question for you, uh, Mr. Sunita Gudara. Since you said that you you have, yep. uh, uh, you, you know, uh, you have family who are in the forces, and often the argument that is made from the other side is that we are insulting our soldiers, we are insulting the sacrifice of our soldiers and their families, we are insulting the martyrs uh, and their memory. Uh, do 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 you understand? Do you do you agree with that sentiment? I know it can be from an individual to individual. I also come from a family background, so it can vary. Uh, but do yes, you understand that sentiment? I'm very emotional about these things. Yes. What happens with Tanvi? What happens in Kashmir with CRPF jawans? You know, stone pelting, and they are bullying the uh, CRPF jawan. Yes, I I just uh, I, I'm condemning all this, and I. I am also emotional because I am army officer's wife, I, my brother is also in the uh, uh, forces. So, but who will take the decision? Who will take the decision? Government has to take decision by giving clear-cut policies. And, and they have to strengthen army. They have to give some liberty to army. What army general now they are saying, they, they have to act now, government has to act, just uh, boycotting the sports will not give you any answer uh, and it is not the solution you know the sports is not the forum to fight Pakistan I'm saying again and again uh, hit them where they are weak Mr. Tahal would you agree with that uh, that this is not the forum and, and and I will expand that conversation when I come to you to say even the even the film fraternity even music and filmmaking and all kinds of arts that is not the forum to send uh, uh, any message across It's not a question of forum. What I'm saying to you, uh, please be very clear about what I'm saying. I'm saying after Pulwama, India must boycott Pakistan in every single way so that Pakistan hurts. There's a way of doing it. We have to get international consensus. We have to make people aware so that any international tournament, any international sanctions, financial aid, everything comes into play. That does not translate to this World Cup. This World Cup only demonstrates that we will actually be handing the benefit over to Pakistan. Don't you see it? Mm. It is exactly what the Pakistanis want. Mm. That the pressure that they put on, on Pulwama makes us give them two World Cup points. Mm. It, doesn't, it doesn't correlate. I agree they should be boycotted, but not in a sport. If an international sports committee or an international sports platform invites Pakistan and we can do nothing about that, and if we are playing Pakistan, we must play them and defeat them. And nothing to do with trying to make a moral, uh, a moral statement that the gentleman said. It's about playing the sport. Okay. We have to be able to go there and play the sport like we know the sport and keep politics aside and do what we have to do as professional sportsmen. And I feel very strongly that we should not give Pakistan these two World Cup points on a platter. I just do disagree with that. But okay. I say, yes, we must develop an awareness to boycott Pakistan across the board. Right. Mr. Tal, I must tell you this, though, uh, though um, I do see merit in your argument. There are a lot of viewers right now who are writing into us who, who believe that we shouldn't play Pakistan, who also are, are, are very confident that irrespective of us giving them this walkover and giving them these two points, it's not going to change Pakistan's fate and it's not going to change our fate in the World Cup. That's the kind of confidence people seem to have in Virat Kohli and his team right now. But that being, uh, that, that, uh, uh, being said, uh, Anshu Moore, <laughs> your response to what uh, you know, Dalip Tahil is saying that let's not give them this uh, even this much. No, actually, uh, I agree with all the viewers who are calling in. Frankly, if, even if you give two points to Pakistan, I don't think they have any chance of doing anything at the World Cup. Uh, but, but on a more serious note, see, my, my whole point here is that it is, it's not about just playing that one match, right? It's not about just sport or any other arena. It's the scale at which this is held. It's the impact of your statement. And I believe that World Cup and India making that statement, because India is a very strong uh, competitor in this, uh, in uh, you know, in this sport, it, that makes a difference. That makes a difference. That passes on our message. Anywhere we can do that, we should be doing that. Whether it's trade, 
whether it's films uh, you know for example films and I'll, I'll go to this point uh, films are still you know we're still talking about Bollywood right <coughs> which is limited to just Indians and people who speak Hindi or understand Hindi let's say even Pakistanis but this is bigger than that this is global scale this is you're making a very strong statement that's the only reason I support uh, not playing Pakistan uh, in this because because of the impact of that statement and two points frankly I don't think it's gonna make any difference to Pakistan so everybody's they're not, taking they're, a... they're not going beyond the first round yes well uh, that seems to be the sentiment as well but everybody's taken a very clear stand here Mr. Alan Sippy except I... you so I'm going to come back to you and ask you that while of course it's not on any of us I can't decide Anshu can't decide Mr. Tahil can't decide but, but uh, the government has to decide at the end of the day I'm not even too sure if COA by themselves will decide no, take decide. the decision <laughs> uh, you can decide but I mean uh, the team is not going to no, follow I, I can what... totally decide can we yes <laughs> no, yes uh, so Mr. Alan Sippy take a stand tonight tell us what you think you 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 you've you've played on the field you've played with this uh, with the other nation tell us as a cricketer what's your true sentiment okay that, i think that's a very fair question to you see as a cricketer my heart tells me as a cricketer you know when you you start playing cricket or you start playing sport the first thing you want to do in life is to compete so as a as a sportsman the first thing a person wants to do is compete and win you know so as far as cricket is concerned against Pakistan there is no question that the Indian team myself included the public whoever was watching cricket whoever likes cricket will love Pakistan love India to beat Pakistan the Indian team for example if you give Ravi Shastri Virat Kohli a chance to uh, play against Pakistan they'll be chomping at the bits Bill they'll, they'll want to uh, beat Pakistan so there's no question as a sportsman you want to play and compete against anyone and, and more so against Pakistan because the rivalry is is no it's, it's incredible so as a cricketer as a sportsman yes I want to play Pakistan but I come back to the point of the government because I think that this decision to to play them or not to play them has to be taken by the government today the BCCI has told the, that they need some more time the reason they need the time this is the only reason that they've taken some time. The reason they need the time is that they have to consult the powers that be. They have to consult the government. The government is the one that will decide. The external affairs, the home ministries, these are the people who are going to take a decision for to protect us because these are the people who are going to look after the country. They, they have to ensure that Pakistan doesn't attack us in future. It is, it is, it's a catch-22 situation. As a sportsman, I would love to play Pakistan and beat them. And yes, I believe uh, what, exactly what Mr. Dilip Tal has said, we should go and play them and beat them. But as, as, as a, a patriot of the country, as a citizen of the country, I feel very strongly that we should wait for the powers that be, for the government to take this decision. We should not, not take a gungo decision on this and be patient. That's what I well, feel. Well, if, if Virat Kohli is uh, watching these comments, he's going to be secretly thanking you for putting all this pressure on him to deliver well, on this, go and play and then beat them, uh, maybe not once, but multiple times. Uh, and that's the expectation of the entire country. I completely agree with you there. Let's bring in some viewers as well. Mr. Shivakumar is on the phone line from Bengaluru. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Shivakumar. What do you think? To boycott or not? Yeah. Hi, Tanvi. Hi. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, see, I have a couple of points to make. Uh, so I've been hearing uh, the debate for uh, quite some time. Uh, so my view is, um, you know, firstly, what we need to, what we can try is my suggestion is, um, instead of India, you know, not playing against Pakistan, we should make, we should try to put all pressure from all sides, from UN, from uh, from the government, to ensure that Pakistan doesn't play the World Cup. You know, that is the first thing we can do. Put all pressure. Because uh, they are big into uh, they are into terrorism, everybody knows that. Ensure that Pakistan doesn't play the World Cup. Mm. If that doesn't happen, then the second the second thing what we can do is India should not play the World Cup at all. When India is not going to play Pakistan, then we are in a, in a in a disadvantaged position. So if you don't play the World Cup, what happens is that in England we all know that there are a lot of Indian and Pakistanis there, and if uh, if we start put, putting pressure and uh, spread the word, then people won't arrive in the ground, you know. Right. The World Cup would be, uh, you know, uh, would be... Uh, I understand your point, Mr. Shiv Kumar, but uh, let me also be slightly realistic here. Uh, the UN is, uh, we've not even managed to get a, uh, a 
uh, most wanted terror uh, terrorist tag for Masood Azhar that China keeps blocking for its friend Pakistan. So highly unlikely that we, we will be able to build pressure to get Pakistan out of these tournaments. I do completely agree with your sentiment on that front. Thank you for calling. Govind is on the phone line from Pune. Govind, to play or not to play with Pakistan? Yeah, I, I don't think we should play with Pakistan. You see, as a, as a nation, we need to do, I mean, hello? Yes, go ahead, please. We can hear you. Yeah. See, as a nation, we have to take the first step. Why are we expecting, you know, others to take a step? If we take a stand, we are conveying something to the world. You know, it is our fight. It's not the world's fight. And we are the ones who have to stay strong in this. It's not correct to say that we have made mistakes in the past. Okay, we have done something 10 years back. We have done something 20 years back. But today, we have to take a stand. And this is a stand which we are all as Indians have to, have to fight it out. And okay. I don't think, you know, playing this uh, this one match or one uh, World Cup yes. is going to matter much to a nation like us. Yes. Okay. Um, thanks, Govind, for calling. Uh, Vinay, I'm going to come back to you with that same question that I asked uh, some of our other panelists. Why should we play Pakistan? Is it really that important? Let's just say, is this World Cup also? How important is this World Cup? Well, look, I mean, it is extremely important from a sporting point of view. Of course, if you put it in perspective of a terror attack, of course, it pales into insignificance. There's no doubt about that. But okay, again, I'm making the same point. Look, Syria is a terrorist country, isn't it? Uh, it's the, perhaps supplied more terrorists to the world than any other country. It has participated in every single Olympic so far. Iraq has been a terrorist country. US was locked in a war with Iraq. They still participated in Olympic Games. My point is this. The question is, what are you going to achieve by boycotting or not playing in a tournament? The idea is that I'm going to isolate the country. One caller said, we should force other countries to join us. That's never going to happen because this is a bilateral issue. Most countries have already actually said so indirectly. This is a problem between us and Pakistan. Why should England or Australia or New Zealand become a party to it? So that's never going to happen. ICC is never going to cancel or force Pakistan to get out because their charter doesn't allow for something like that. So that's not happening anymore. Yes, India can theoretically withdraw itself from the tournament completely and hurt the ICC's finances because that will happen. If India doesn't participate in the World Cup, definitely the ECB and the ICC's finances will get impacted. Don't forget that even Indian finances ride on it. There is a very large mega sporting powerhouse, broadcast powerhouse that is controlled, but that's based in India, which are going to broadcast this. So there is money in that. But of course, when it's a question of forces, when it's a question of lives of soldiers, money is not the argument at all. Hmm. The argument really is, how should Pakistan be punished? Should it be punished on the military field? Should it be punished at a diplomatic level? Should it be punished at the sporting level? I'm all for banning and not doing anything bilaterally. You should stop the Pakistani film artists from coming here. You don't have to do anything bilaterally. Don't allow anything of that sort. That's going to hurt them. That's going to affect them. That's going to impact them. But a top World Cup is not about Pakistan at all. And tomorrow morning, the Olympics has 172 countries participating. Pakistan is one of them. Will you not go to the Olympics? Yeah. Because they're participating there as well. The question is, that's the Olympics or World Cup is not about Pakistan. Pakistan is not that important a country. That, that whole World Cup should be considered about them. It's not about them. They're not important. They are an insignificant country who believes in terrorism. And that's how we should treat them. And, and I think in the past, and that is the reason, Tanvi, why I'm saying that sometimes people, we give less credit to the governments. Governments are a little more mature than people in many stages. That's the reason why if you see the Indian government so far has not taken a clear cut position because they know it's not an easy one to take. Yes. Otherwise, they would have nudged the PCSI already to say we're not participating. They yes. haven't done it because they know that it's not an easy one to take. Yes, well, uh, it is on 16th of <coughs> June. Uh, by then, we would have had a, the big cycle of elections as well and the decision could perhaps be then taken after that there is no hurry there it's a tricky one like you said when i to take this decision shubhaditya roy on the phone line from navi mumbai quick word from uh, shubhaditya and then we will wrap this conversation up yes go ahead please um i believe that pakistan uh, the match between pakistan and the main reason why i believe in this is because this is a sporting event what influence can cricket actually have? Um, what influence yes, can we could hear just a match, uh, match can have? 
Okay, we have a bad line with you, but I think I broadly understand what you were trying to say uh, that uh, boycotting a match is not going to make any difference. What influence will we have? We will have to find other ways of hitting Pakistan where it hurts. Uh, I'm going to thank, uh, okay, we've got Shashi Khanna on the phone line also from Mumbai. Shashi, what's your, what's your call? Should we play with Pakistan on 16th of June or not? No, I don't think so because I don't think the two points are worth the 40 lives that we have lost. And all these people who are talking about the two points do not deserve to be in India. All right. Um, the Shashi, very clear with his uh, with the view, short and crisp view there. Thank you for calling in. Uh, I'm going to thank all of my panelists, but here is what I think about this. It's up to the government to decide whether or not we should boycott that one match. Frankly, I'm with the rest of India who believes that we can beat Pakistan, uh, but even if we forfeit those two points, we will still manage uh, getting ahead of Pakistan in this World Cup. And so that shouldn't be a concern. But it's for the government of the day to decide what their larger policy is. I would, though, hope that the government focuses more on hitting Pakistan where it genuinely hurts. While this is more of an emotional, a sentimental issue, how can we play a sport or game with a country whose leaders are pushing terror across our border and killing our own people. I get the sentiment and I respect that sentiment. But I would hope that the government uses this sentiment, government uses this anger, uses this opportunity to hit back at Pakistan where it will hurt them diplomatically, economically, whatever needs to be done to ensure that Pakistan is forced to take action against those terrorists, forced to crack down and destroy those terror camps forced to not fund and back people like Masood Azhar. Our government needs to devise a policy to do that. Now, please, don't be mistaken. I am not sitting here and advocating war or not. That is for the government to decide what they need to do. But let's not boil down this issue to simply saying we will not play with Pakistan and we will take their most favoured nation status away. This is not where it has to soak. The larger problem still remains. Every day our soldiers are still battling terrorists, are still battling the support that they get, local support that they get in Kashmir. 400 and more soldiers, that was the count before the Pulwama attack, have been killed in five years just in Kashmir. They are fighting this battle every day. We need to find a solution to that, irrespective of whether or not we decide to play with Pakistan in the World Cup. That cannot be the answer to this problem. Thank you so much for joining us on this debate.